I think after that, Shepard could use a drink. Collapsed. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome back to Mass Effect 2. Hill here, and we are on Omega with Garrus and Jacob Taylor. We have a few loose ends to tie up here. Let's go ahead and go into afterlife. We need to talk with Arya Talok. Come on, let me in. Arya's expecting me. So I'm trying to finish up, I guess, some events here before we move on to the final phase of Act 1. And once Act 1 is completed, things are going to start to happen. So let's go ahead and keep things the way we know them now, for now. And then we will unlock stuff later. Alright, Anto. You want to talk? Talk to Arya. Alright, Miss Talok. What do you need? I don't know if you all remember, but from a very early episode when we went after Archangel, we found a damaging, damning data pad. This data pad was on one of the mercs that was after Archangel. They were coming for you next. Let me see. Interesting. Would someone like to tell me how this information slipped the net? Uh, I'll, I'll look into it. Thanks for the heads up, Chef. Looks like I'll have to do a little cleaning in my organization. Mm, I bet you will. Let's see, is there anything to investigate? I think we've talked about all this stuff. Alright, that's it. Thanks. Maybe I'll come back later. You do that. Alright, we got 40 experience. Okay, is there anything else? Arya has work for you. Oh, really? Arya has a job she needs doing. You up for some work? Well, what is the job? That depends on what Arya has in mind. Arya's gotten word that some blood-packed mercs plan to kill an old acquaintance of hers. A Krogan named Patriarch. She'd like you to keep that from happening. Uh, why kill Patriarch? You've met him earlier as well. What's the Blood Pack's problem with Patriarch? If you've met Patriarch, you know. He can't keep his damn mouth shut. Well, that Some is true. Some people don't appreciate his stories. Especially when he dips into non-fiction. Why ask me? Why come to me? Arya's usual muscle not up for the job? Because Arya said so. What other reason do you need? Uh-oh, people. Uh-oh! You see it? I know you do! It's a renegade option. Tell me, or I walk. If Arya wants my help, she'd better tell me why. I'm not doing this for my health. Fine! Whatever gets you to take the job. If it gets out that Arya's protecting Patriarch, well, that can look like a weakness. And some people might want to exploit that. You're not on a payroll, so you helping Patriarch just seems like a random act of kindness. All right, I'll do it. I'll look into it. Good. Patriarch's downstairs, likely surrounded by his fans. Get him into hiding until the mercs move on. Come back here when it's done, and you'll get your due. I'll be back when the job is done. Good luck. All right, let's go find Patriarch. 
I thought he was a nice old man, so, you know, I, I really do have an interest in protecting him. Uh, let me see, I think he's down this way. Of course, I could be very wrong. All right, so where else can he be? Maybe... I know there's another subterranean entrance. I think he's here. Yeah, here he is. Patriarch? You again. Greetings. Um... Yeah, I guess we're gonna ask. Has he got any enemies? Rumor has it some people want you dead. Know anything about that? Oh, I can think of a few. <laughs> I know things. Old secrets, old grudges. A few floors you can dig up to find bodies underneath. Someone who wanted to weaken Arya might come after me. They do it to get to her, you see. Not for me. Matter enough anymore to have enemies of my own. All right. Well, we've got to get him out of here. Some people want you dead. I've been asked to move you to safety. Well, of course. Arya wouldn't want me hurt. It would make her look bad. But perhaps Arya's reputation is no longer my concern. Perhaps I will stay. See who thinks me important enough to kill. <laughs> I know you guys see it. That red renegade option. It's just calling out to us. What kind of Krogan are you? You allow Arya to protect you like you're her pet? I thought you were a Krogan. Arya let me live. She gave me a position of honor as her advisor. She gave you a position of comfort as her trophy. Is that what you want? Oh. Or would you rather go down fighting? I wish she killed me the day she beat me. That would have been a glorious death. But perhaps it is not too late to die well. Perhaps these assassins will remember my name. Farewell, human. Thank you. Oops. I don't think that was the intended result. At least it wasn't mine. Um, I think he's dead. Whoops. Alright, um, I guess we go speak to Grizz again. I'm sorry, Patriarch. Arya wants to speak with you, human. Something about Patriarch taking on a squad of mercs by himself. I wouldn't keep her waiting. Uh-oh. Wait. Could Patriarch still be alive? Arya? I heard my old friend Patriarch died. Oh, he is dead. Went out in a blaze of glory. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? I gave him what you could the chance to die like a crow. That wasn't your decision to make. His life belonged to me. Patriarch was dead for centuries. You know that. How he was? I'd almost forgotten he was a Krogan. You gave him the death he deserved. You've done a lot for me, Shepard. Let me return the favor. We're sending your coordinates to a cache on an uncharted world. You want it? It's yours. Yeah, much appreciated. We can use any help we can get. Whatever you find is yours to deal with. Uh, did we ask about Arya and Patriarch? We might as well. 
Sounds like you and Patriarch have a history. Our history is Omega's history. Long, bloody, and always ending in my favor. The details are complicated. When I arrived, Omega was lawless, a land of opportunity. I built alliances and destroyed the fools who wouldn't get in line, which was most of them. But Patriarch, he was something different. A powerful friend. When did you betray him? I assume you decided he was too strong, even as an ally? No. He cast the first stone. It wasn't a surprise when he turned. He controlled the muscle. My people contributed more subtle action. Espionage, politics, assassination. Fortunately for me, his men had become accustomed to certain benefits of working with Asari. That's playing dirty. Sounds like you changed the rules, and the battlefield. Krogan nature made it easy for us to take advantage. Patriarch's men abandoned him in droves. In the end, we fought face to face on this very spot. The toughest fight of my life. But of course I won. Why call him Patriarch? Patriarch doesn't sound like something an Asari would come up with. I found it humorous. He wanted power. And we pretended he had it with a word that doesn't exist for my people. I eventually found a certain respect for the title and the man. Why keep him alive for so long? So you kept him around as a trophy? I did. A trophy and an example. Whenever someone thought about taking me on, I pointed them to Patriarch. I suppose I still can. Hmm. All right. Well, I think he's heard enough. Interesting, but let's move on. Do you need something else? I believe we have talked about everything. Thanks. Maybe I'll come back later. Why don't you find a nice girl to keep you warm in the meantime? You look like you need to loosen up a little. Hmm. All right, 40 more experience and 3,000 credits. Nice. Okay. Let's go back downstairs. Protesters have again attempted to extinguish the Shepherd Memorial flame on Torfin. Authorities issued warnings, but Admiral Hackett asked that no arrests be made. I think after that, Shepard could use a drink. Collapsed. Say something, Commander. What's going on here? You ought to be all right. Just take her easy. Looks like you broke the first rule of Omega. Don't order a drink at Afterlife if you're human. Afterlife hates humans. Humans aren't welcome at Afterlife. It's just that one Batarian bartender. He's got a stick up his ass about a bunch of Batarians that died a while back. No one does a thing about it, though. Humans ain't exactly held in high regard around here. So I was poisoned? That bartender tried to poison me? Tried is the word. As far as I know, you're the first human to survive it. Me and my friend Jake went there to celebrate our new shipping business. He got real drunk. And an hour later, he was puking blood. Damn, well, thank goodness for those Cerberus implants. They're probably what kept Shepard alive. That bartender will pay. I think I'll go give that bartender a taste of his own medicine. He won't be expecting you. That's for sure. Give that Batarian bastard what he deserves. Folks, what do you think he deserves? Where are we, anyway? Oh, there's something over here? What is this? 
junk talk to Garrus? Walking around in this place makes me sick. People still dying. The strong still exploiting the weak. Nothing I get here even made a dent in this. Um... Jeez, I don't remember if this is the bar down here. I think it is. No, it is not. Well, maybe through here? Oh, no. Where am I? Am I back upstairs? I think we are. Well, this is where Patriarch was. Here he is, people. Here he is. Four van. Do I know you? No, no. Humans all look the same. Here, have a drink on the house. People, I know you see it. The renegade option. Make him drink it. But, but, you drank? You should be dead. Wait, you don't want me to. Now, drink it. I, no, you can't, I. Drink it, or I'll blind you one eye at a time. Alright folks, well that will conclude this episode of Mass Effect 2 in the afterlife on Omega. This is Hill and I'm out. <laughs>